goddamn Virgo in me. I always got hand sanitizer. And these knuckles, boy, I tell you, these knuckles be dry. Dry, Reverend. The reason why my hands be dry so much is because I'm always washing my hands. Clean hands. They say cleanliness is close to godliness. Godliness. So, yeah, that's my thing. I'm um, checking in, tapping in. What's up with y'all? Uh, it has been a long time since I, uh, it's been a long time since I uh, went live, and I'm just checking what's what's going on. I'm how how can y'all uh, let me know? Y'all, we y'all we can shout shout out your your city or something so I can I can see. Uh, <laughs> somebody says don't blame your OCD on, on astrology. Uh, can y'all tell me where y'all from? Where y'all at? ATL, okay, I see Atlanta. Hello, Atlanta. Boston, I didn't do a very good Boston accent, but Boston. LA, Cali, Raleigh, North Carolina, no Kakalaka, okay. NYC, New York in the building. Birmingham, hello. Arizona, Orlando, Old Town. Uh, Riverside, Cali, Jacksonville, Florida. There's always a, a story about Florida. Florida, man, and you know, you can fill in the rest when you hear a headline about Florida. Um, DMV, Tampa, Chi-Town. Of course, I, finally somebody from Chicago. You know what I'm trying to, like, what's up? Like, where y'all from? And you know, the Chi-Town, my Chi-Town people decide to show up when they decide to show up. Chattanooga, Tennessee, Louisville, um, South Carolina, Jersey, Jersey in the building, um, North Carolina, LA, the Valley, what up, <laughs> people in Cali, the Valley, what up to all the Valley, 818s, out this month, uh, Georgia, Buffalo, New York, what's up, Buffalo, hello, Buffalo, Trinidad, oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get some islands going on. We all live in the islands. We all live in the islands. I'm trying to be in an island right now. If y'all could be in an island right now, what island would you be? I'm thinking Bahamas off rip. I'm just thinking Bahamas. Trinidad could be kind of fly. Um, what, what would be a dope island? Um, yeah. Maldives, Fiji, Bora Bora. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamaica, of course, Jamaica, of course. Why was, why wouldn't I say Jamaica? Of course, Jamaica. Uh, Cabo, Cabo, yeah. We we hear Cabo all the time. Cabo, Cancun, all those spots. Puerto Rico, Boricua, of course, Puerto Rico. Um, yeah, Tahiti. Tahiti is good. Tahiti is good. Tahiti. The Cayman Islands. I haven't been to the Cayman Islands. Shout out to all the people out in the Cayman Islands. Um, never been. Um, okay, now we're gonna go back to to, to, to the states because uh, people are shouting out uh, Missouri and Oakland, Oak Town, three five seven. Um, yeah. Okay, now now we on uh old dog. Anybody? Got any cheeseburgers? Okay, I get it. I get it. Uh, Nigeria. What up, West Africa? Okay. I see, you know, the, the mother continent. Yes, yes. Uh, New Mexico, Athens, Georgia, Jersey, Canada. Shout out to all of my Canadians. Yes, indeed. Toronto. <laughs> Van City, Montreal. All those good spots. Michigan. I see you, Michigan. Texas. Charleston. Okay. That's good. That's a it's a nice wide range. Brazil. Where at? What's up with Brazil? Where? What are we talking about Brazil. Hold up. I know I know Massachusetts. Hang on. We're talking about Brazil right now. Um Haiti. Shout out to Haiti. Yeah, 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 yeah. We Trinidad. I see you. <laughs> okay, Cape Verde. Okay, the Cape Verde Island. 
Baltimore, B. Morning House, New York. Somebody said they was just watching Dead Presidents. Okay, cool. Glad to know. Y'all got to type faster. Type, type faster. Um, Y'all type fast. I just read slow. How's that? No, um, I'm trying to get uh, to see what uh, Chi-Town, Connecticut, Princeton. <sighs> Atlanta, Georgia, as somebody says, are you hiring for anything at this very moment? I'm, I'm, I'm not actually hiring anything right now. I'm not patronizing. I'm just, honestly, I'm not being silly. I'm, j I'm not hiring right now. Um, I guess when I um, start hiring, I'm going to just put it out there. I'll go live if I'm hiring. I'll let y'all know. Um, VA in the building. Oh, thank you. Someone shout out. I appreciate that. Any memories of Red Fox um, do you want to share? Okay, sure. I would love to share some memories of the great legendary Red Fox and Della Reese. I played their grandson on the TV show, The Royal Family. Uh, this was back in the early 90s. Executive produced and created the idea of putting... Red Fox and Della Reese together was the great Eddie Murphy. Um, when they were working together on Harlem Nights, he saw the relationship between Red Fox and Della Reese and thought that would be a great idea for a TV show. And um, I played uh, his grandson on the show. And um, uh, interesting fun fact, uh, Naya Rivera, the late Naya Rivera played my little sister. That was her first role. I met Naya when she was four years old. And um, yeah, three incredible people that had an impact on my life early on in my career have uh, trans made their transition to uh, the spiritual realm. So God bless the, the souls of King Red Fox, Queen Della Reese, and Princess Naya Rivera. Sorry about that. Of course, my phone oh, uh, never has any power on it. Anyway, uh, someone says, uh, "What's my what was my favorite scene in Love Jones?" I had a lot of favorite scenes in Love Jones. Man, Love Jones is classic, classic movie. Um, a lot of it was a lot of fun scenes, man. You know, we was having fun when we were stepping, shot town, was stepping. Um, that was some fun scenes. Um, yeah, the poetry stuff was always fun. Someone says, I can't wait to see you and your bro on power. Ghost season two. And you know what? I can't wait for y'all to see it as well. Because I got to tell you, my brother Lamar uh, is phenomenal. He plays Kamal, and they really um, they got some really cool stuff this season for the character of Kamal. And I'm happy that Courtney Kemp, shout out to Queen Courtney Kemp. Love me some Courtney Kemp, man. She's just always representing, always showing love for uh, the Tate brothers, the Tate family, and uh, all of her actors and artists that she hires. I'm truly, truly appreciative, and I'm happy to be a part of that crew of artists that she has put to work and utilized. And um, so yeah, season two is gonna be really good. A lot of great characters, a lot of cool um, storylines that are gonna intersect, intertwine. It really is well-crafted. I mean, the writers on Power uh, Ghost, they just know how to do it. They just know how to write. They, they, they do a fantastic job and uh, the directors are really dope. I get a chance to have some more fun Y'all know in power, anybody can get clipped, clap, be a rap. And um, I'm happy that uh, I can still talk about Councilman Rashad Tate. <laughs> I know it's a hate or love relationship that the audience has. Um, a hate or love relationship that the audience has with Rashad. Um, but I like that, you know, because if he's a guy in the middle, kind of in the gray area, ain't nobody talking about him. So, yeah. Rashad is back. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, give me some questions. I'm trying to answer some questions. 
anybody want to, okay, they doing, but people are doing Minister Society lines. Um, somebody, somebody said, me and my bestie met you and your brother on the South Side. Oh, okay, yeah, we, we move around when we in Chicago. Um, somebody says, sorry, I hate the Rashad character, but you played it well. I'm sure a lot of people are echoing that. And that's the, the point, you know? Rashad is um, someone that is super determined. He's going to do whatever he want to do, you know? And in politics, it's a doggy dog world. What you expect from him? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of self-serving dynamics when we're dealing with politicians. But, you know, I think we're going to get a chance to see a little bit more uh, balance with Rashad. But, yeah. You know, he, did, he 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 slick. He slick with it. But don't you just love it? I love it. I'm going to continue to play it as long as they want me to. I like you in the Sh Ashanti video. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the Ashanti video. Shout out to Ashanti. That was a, a fun, fun experience working with her on that video. Um, yeah, it was tough because that relationship was toxic. And, you know, that toxicity is uh, a no-no. Definitely a no no. And karma, karma is, is serious. But yeah, it was a fun, uh, fun experience working on uh, the rain on me. Waiting on Bronzeville, man. Yeah, we all were waiting on Bronzeville. You know, Bronzeville is an audio series that uh, my brothers and I produced along with Lawrence Fishburne and his his team. Um, great, talented uh, actors who came in and just rocked out. Season one, season two, it's just. You know, it's uh, undeniable, man. It's such a great, great uh, story, great show. If you guys ever have time, please listen to Bronzeville season one and season two. We have well over 20 million downloads on the show and on the series. Um, that podcast is fire. And uh, we're still working on making it a series where you all could actually see a live action. Um, somebody said, okay, a lot of old dog stuff. What up, Kane? You got the strap, but you know, old dog. Oh man, I gotta get, I gotta get my, I, you know, I never, my phone, I need a plug, man, because it's, it's keep saying that uh, I got short, low battery on my thing. Uh, who would you like to work with that you haven't? work with yet? Oh, that's a very good question. A lot of people. I haven't worked with Denzel. I haven't worked with Sam Jackson. I haven't worked with uh, a lot of... I haven't worked with Angela Bassett. I, I, I want to work with some of the greats. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, put me in the... Put me in a game. Put me in a ring with, with the best. Someone said Will Smith. Uh, I actually worked with Will Smith uh, in um, Fresh, Prince, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, I, um, what is the character's name? Man, I just, I just uh, slipped. I know the character's name. Dang, I just slipped. But anyway, he was trying to holler at Ashley, and uh, Carlton and Will weren't uh, weren't going for it. But uh, yeah, I worked with I worked with Will before. That's uh, that's my man's. Shout out to Will Smith. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Kenny! Somebody said yeah, Kenny. That's it. That's what it was. Kenny was his name. Um, I have not worked with Wesley Snipes. That would be nice to work with. Uh, uh, uh with Wes. Wes is dope. It would be nice to work with Wesley. Uh, I would like to work with some of you know some of these people, hopefully in in the uh, in the near future. What are you listening to in your car? Oh man, I listen to a little bit of everything. Um, uh, I, I I love the Afro beats. You know, I'm always listening to the to that vibe. I love that. Um, 
I'm listen. I listen to a lot of old school stuff. Um, early mornings, I, I I take my children to school. I have uh, three children that are in school. Uh, my oldest boy is in high school. I got a son. That's, uh, my my oldest son is in high school. Uh, my second boy, he's in middle school, and then my third son is in elementary grammar school, and then I have a little guy at home. And um, so I take them all to school, right? And I'm listening to everything. And we listen to the radio. We listen to all kinds of stuff. We listen to the things that they listen to. But I also like to incorporate incorporate um, old school music the way my mom and dad incorporated. So, you know, they know who Marvin Gaye is. They know who the Isley Brothers are. They know about the OJs. They know about the old school stuff. And I play a lot of that, you know, Bob Marley. Um, we we also played some classical, you know, just because I kind of switch it up. But we also doing a lot of like hip hop that was in my era, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, Fuji's, uh, Tribe Called Quest, um, obviously Biggie and Tupac. They get a variety of it all, LL Cool J. They get, they get like all. I let them listen to Snoop, you know. Gotta let them listen to. That's family right there. Snoop is family, so gotta let them, you know, listen to that Snoop, um, Biggie, all of that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm listening to. I'm listening to. I listen to a, a, a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Um, Kendrick Lamar, obviously. J Cole. Um, when we listen to the old school stuff, they get a chance to hear uh, a gentleman they call Uncle Chris. It goes by the name of Luda. So they listen to Luda as well. Um, yeah, we listen to it. We listen, try to, we, I try to listen to the clean version of the old school Luda stuff. You know what I mean? The clean version. Jeez. Come on, Uncle Chris. Get it together, bro. Get it together. Shit. Anyway, um... Yes, I've heard of King Lowe. Shout out to King Lowe's, of course. Uh, you know, I, I, I just love really good music. Um, we, you know, kind of listen to a lot of things. We listen to 80s music. Um, we listen listen to it all. You know, we, we, we listen to it all. Love Jones Part 2. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I'm going to ask. Uh, somebody said, oh, Midnight. Do, do I listen to Midnight Star? Yeah, of course. I listen to Midnight Star. Um, Shalimar. Uh, DeBarge. Switch. I listen to, uh, like, I'm my... Yo, my playlist is pretty, pretty ridiculous. I got a playlist when people come over to the crib and, you know, my family is hosting things. My family, we like to have, you know, people come over and, you know, cooking and doing all kinds of fly stuff. And uh, yes, I'm a private person. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm, I'm private in that, in that, in that regard. Uh, when it comes to the fam, it's just what it is. But I can tell you what goes on. And we do have... Uh, music that's like my playlist is pretty dumb. I mean, you gonna get some Maze featuring Frankie Beverly. You gonna get some Shaka Khan. You gonna get some Rufus and Shaka Khan. Uh, you gonna get you gonna get some Temptations, um, the OJ's. Um, you know, you gonna get some Anita Baker. Turn on the radio, Anita Baker starts to sing. Um, yeah, so I just like all those classics. Is what um, has always kind of gotten me through and, and keeps me connected. Um, uh, Curtis Mayfield, of course I got Curtis Mayfield. I got Curtis Mayfield. I got George Clinton. I got... Um, Jimi Hendrix, we got Nina Simone, 
We listened to uh, obviously Whitney and Luther. Yeah, I'm for real. Like, someone just asked oh, a really good question. Did I ever work with the great Cicely Tyson? Um, fortunately, I did, and it was it was a it was a um, a TV pilot that never got picked up. It was called Clippers about a barbershop. John Amos, the great John Amos, who played um, the father of Lisa McDowell in uh, Coming to America, and also he was on Good Times. Uh, he played the lead, I wanna say Cicely Tyson was his wife or ex-wife, and I played a guy who, um, what did I, what was I in Clippers? It was a pilot, and I wanna say Eddie Murphy uh, produced that pilot as well and I got a chance to 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 just see greatness um, unfortunately the pilot never got picked up I was about 14 or 15 at the time it was years ago it never happened um, but I was in the presence of greatness and um, it was just wonderful to to be around Cicely Tyson and John Amos and so many others okay I appreciate that Everybody's still uh, shouting out uh, uh, where they where they're from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The King of Pop. Do you still listen to? Do you listen to Michael Jackson? I listen to the Jackson Five. Um, I listen to a lot of the early Michael Jackson and Jackson Five. The Off the Wall album is crazy. It's a classic. Um. It is what it is, man. That's uh, great music. Great music. Uh, we love we love the Jackson Five. Somebody said, "Oh yeah, that's that's dope." Somebody said, um, "A Man Apart" and uh, "Postman" <laughs> was some movies that were slept on. Those are some movies that I had done years back. Uh, worked on the Postman with Kevin Costner. That was a good time. We filmed in, I don't know, four or five different states. It's a post-apocalyptic kind of movie. And um, yeah, I was able to, to work with him. He, he directed that movie and produced it. I learned a lot from watching him produce and direct and star in a movie. Um, I was in school. I, I, let's just say it. That, that was, I was I just, just seeing how movies are made. Um, and he invited me to just see the whole process from the beginning to the end. Even when uh, they were in post-production, he would invite me to come take a look at what it was like to put music to score. But like with a real orchestra. I mean, this was like a 30-piece orchestra. You go in and you listen to the music and I was just blown away. They had a lot of money. It was, it was a big budget. Um, some of the movies I was in before then did not have that. We just had somebody on a beat machine and... That's it. No orchestra. You know, those uh, those uh, smaller budget movies, which were classics. But I also worked with uh, a dear friend of mine, Vin, on uh, A Man Apart. Uh, Vin is uh, it's like my bro. Uh, Vin is definitely, uh, uh, that's, my, that's my guy. And I'm, I'm happy for their franchise and what they've been able to do on uh, The Fast and the Furious. They, uh, they've, been, they've been killing it. But... Uh, that's my man's, one of my closest homies, for sure, one of my closest friends. And, uh, yeah, those movies, man, A Man Apart and Postman, I do think they were uh, slept on. Anyway, moving on, yeah, Waist Deep. We, we had fun on Waist Deep, working with uh, Tyrese, Megan Good, The Game. Yeah, it was a fun it was a fun time. I'm happy that uh, I was a part of that movie as well, Waist Deep. And uh, I've been uh, part of some really cool, cool movies and some cool classics. Um, South Central. Somebody just pointed out South Central. South Central was a TV show that I did years ago, man. And man, I missed that show. I missed that experience. Really good. Tasha Scott, my little big sister. Mom Tina. Tina's been working and doing her thing. Um, 
Lamont Bentley, man. Lamont Bentley was one of my closest homies. Um, he went on and do a, a lot of other TV shows like Moesha and a few other things. But Lamont Bentley was uh, a very close friend to uh, me and my brothers and our family. Uh, really, really miss that brother. He made me laugh. Yeah, I miss that brother. Um, and uh, somebody s said uh, something about menace to society again. <laughs> Shout out to the Hughes brothers. Menace to society. Shout out to my day one, of course, Tyron Turner, my guy. It's my man, it's Tyron Turner, who played Kane. Deuces. Hell yeah, Deuces, man. We produced that movie, Deuces, uh, along with Queen Latifah and her company. Worked again with Megan Good, Lance Gross, Lala Anthony, my man wrote Timmy, um, a lot of a lot of cool people. Uh, Rick Gonzalez, a lot of cool people. If I forgot uh, anybody uh, in in Deuces, it's just like I got a, a lot going on in my, in my mind right now, in my brain. Um, but now, shout out to everybody from Deuces. We had a great time on that movie. And um, Dead Presidents. Dead Presidents, somebody says. Uh, Dead Presidents. Uh, one of my favorite movies. Hughes Brothers, man. I mean, one of my favorite movies. Terrence Howard. <laughs> oh, Pretty Terry, as I call him. Pretty Terry. Yeah, we... It's funny, me and, me and Terrence talked uh, a few weeks back. It's been maybe a month or so. I gotta call that brother. Anyway, we, we talked about that and that experience. And uh, I felt like Terrence Howard playing Cowboy was, was one of his favorite first projects. And he, he was definitely one of the co-MVPs. I think uh, that role and uh, so many other roles in that, in that movie was just really, really dope. Really dope. Cuddy. We still looking for Cuddy. <laughs> Um, and someone mentioned uh, uh, Love Come Down, a movie that I did. In the spirit of uh, uh, American Black Film Festival, it was uh, originally Acapulco Film Festival, and I met a writer-director, Clement Virgo, in Acapulco back in 97, 98. Whenever we did uh, that in a film festival, you used to get down there and you you communicate with people, you network, and he had a script that uh, he was, you know, uh, prepared to go and film and shoot, and um, it was a movie um, called Love Come Down, and I thought it was just really different, you know, that I would play this this comedian, me being a comedian, funny, that's funny in itself, that's just me trying to be funny. Anyway, um, I, I got a chance to meet him down there, and uh, we wind up. I like the movie. I like some of the other movies he had done, and you know that's why film festivals uh, are important, uh, especially you know for for people who are uh, marginalized. You know, black folks have been putting so much work into the entertainment industry, and I'm not excluding anyone else. When I talk about black folks, that don't mean that I'm excluding other people. I'm just talking about my experience as a black folk. <laughs> anyway, we uh, you know we've done a lot for 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 the industry, um, and so you got to have these film festivals to 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 sort of uh, not necessarily ask for permission to work with each other and do things and tell our stories and have control of our narrative. So I think that was really important. But yeah, I went off and did that with Deborah Cox uh, and the talented. Singer, actress, Deborah Cox. We did uh, Love Come Down with Clement Virgo, the director. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, listen, y'all. Um, I'm not, it's kind of hard to segue when people do lives and, like, you know, yo, I got to get ready to go. It's phone calls or something, whatever. It is. That's not the case. Actually, um, my, my phone, this is, this, y'all think I'm going to be lying, but my phone is like on 1%. I've been doing interviews and I've been doing Zooms and I've been doing all this stuff and I don't have my charger. So I'm going to have to continue this another time because I don't want to just you know, be on a, you know, in a moment of telling a story and it just cuts off, right? So 
I appreciate y'all uh, tapping in as I tap in with y'all. Sending love to everybody out there. Peace, love, and all the good things. Sending good energy. Sending good vibrations. Yes, yes, yes. And I will answer some more questions. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start getting on live and just start answering some questions. So y'all come up with some good questions. And, you know, if it's in the realm of decency and good taste... I will answer them. And if it's not in the realm of good decency and taste, I won't be answering them. Or I'll answer them without decency and good taste. How about that? We can get into some ratchet shit too. I'm back into my, my zen center right now. Peace and love, y'all. All over the world. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Send the love. I will not be a stranger. And y'all don't be a stranger either. Love is love. Wait, I, I was about to, but I'm back on. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Okay, cool. All right. Wait a minute. What am I doing, man? I don't even know how to get off this thing. You say bye. No, no, no. You say bye. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. You say bye. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hang up. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all hang up. You hang up. You hang up. Come on, hang up. I ain't. <laughs> I stop playing. I ain't gonna hang up until you hang up. Hang up. Hang up. All right. You. Okay. I right, just what we do. We both gonna say bye and hang up. Back. No, we don't do bye. We say see you later. Okay. We both gonna say see you later. Another. Okay. See you later. At the same time. All right. See you later. You first. No, for real, you first. <laughs> you first. Yo, go. Stop. Stop. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. All right. Peace, y'all.